Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are making a Big Mac. To make our Big Mac, we of course need to make a Big Mac sauce. So we're gonna start with half a cup of mayonnaise, two tablespoons of French dressing, four teaspoons of sweet pickle relish, one tablespoon finely diced onion, one teaspoon white vinegar, a pinch of sugar, and a pinch of salt. We're gonna whisk all these together, cover it in plastic wrap and place it in the fridge for at least an hour or until we're ready to start making our Big Macs. All right, other than the Big Mac sauce, the Big Mac is known for its signature three layer bun. So they don't sell those in stores. We're gonna have to make those. So it's gonna require two buns to make one burger. So if we wanna jump down here, we'll go ahead and show you how we're gonna do that. So I'm making two burgers, so I need four buns total. So we are gonna go ahead and we're gonna slice it this way. But we're gonna do it carefully and on our cutting board here. Don't do this in your hand. So we're gonna try and cut this as close to level as possible. And that's actually not too bad. So there's one. And I'm gonna take another bun here. You're gonna do the same thing again. There's the other. So we're gonna take these as well as its two normal buns and we're gonna throw these on the blackstone and we're gonna get these toasted. So blackstone, the left half where we're gonna be cooking our patties is on as high as it can go and the right side is on as low as it can go. Our buns are starting to toast up so we're actually gonna go ahead and we're gonna make our patties. So McDonald's actually makes their Big Mac patties 1.6 ounces. Uh, we're gonna use quarter pound patties. <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead and put these in our burger press here and we're gonna make four of them because I'm making two burgers. I don't know if I'm gonna need my smasher or not here. This is pretty simple just to do it this way. So we're gonna do this four times. So there's one, we'll do that three more times. All right, so this is perfect temperature for my patties here. I want this to sear. And so very basic seasoning with these Big Macs, salt and pepper, that's it. Go ahead and check our buns. They're getting toasted, they're looking great. So we're gonna let our patties go here for, oh, three, four minutes aside. And then we're gonna flip it. We really wanna get that nice crust on it though. That's what we're looking for cooking on a flat top. So we'll give those about three minutes and then we'll be back to flip it. All right. So it's been about that three-ish minutes. These look perfect. Then we are gonna salt this side too, and pepper. Our burgers are finishing up on their second side. So while those are finishing up, we're actually gonna come down here to the board and we're gonna dress up our buns so that way we can just throw our patties right on top of it and they'll be ready to go. Bottom bun, middle bun, top bun. Here's the sequence I found after eating many of these. So this is our Big Mac sauce. So you're gonna do sauce on the bottom bun, sauce on the middle bun, nothing on the top bun. And then you're gonna do onions, on both the bottom and the middle. And then some shredded lettuce on both bottom and middle. And here's where the difference comes. Cheese on the bottom and pickles on the middle. So McDonald's for some reasons only gives you like two pickles. I like pickles. So we're gonna do way more than two. 
And then let's go grab our patties. And then we're supposed to be able to just do top on like that. And the bottom, just like that. Well, it's a little bit bigger than a Big Mac. <laughs> it's pretty awesome. All right, let's go ahead, let's taste this thing. All right, let's taste it. Well, there's way more juice coming out of it than the ones that get at McDonald's. Wow. I don't think I got any on me. Mm. Oh, wow, that's good. I don't know if you can really do much better than that. That's as close to a Big Mac as I think I can ever make. The sauce recipe is definitely the closest I've ever been able to do. Jeez, it's still dripping all over me. Ah. <laughs> definitely one worth trying. Yeah, I mean, it's just, it's better than what you get because it's fresh. There's more meat. You can actually taste the patties in this. It's awesome. So, wow, that's a good one. You guys should make this for your family. <laughs> that's all I'll say. Or just yourself. Um, wow. Yeah, that's really good. So, if you have any questions or comments, please put them down below in the comment section. Please like and subscribe to our channel. We're starting to grow pretty quick now, which is awesome. Um, we have a lot more planned for you. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next one and have fun cooking this.